So this, this video is site setup with Dreamweaver CS5 using a local PHP installation. Using a local PHP installation it requires you to have a number of components installed properly on your server. Most importantly, you need to install PHP on your copy of IIS if you're using Windows or Apache if you're using the Mac. This copy of PHP also needs to have the curl or C URL library enabled and it has to be working properly. Uh, the installation of PHP on uh, your own server is your own responsibility. If you do not have it installed, please talk to your IT team or use a hosting company. Also, you need access to a FileMaker server. This FileMaker server needs to be FileMaker server 9, 10, or 11, and it needs to have XML web publishing enabled, as well as PHP web publishing enabled. So in this specific video, we're going to have PHP running locally and the site running on the same machine using a local PHP installation. However, for the FileMaker server, we will use the remote FM Gateway server. To begin, go to your site menu and choose new site. Now with Dreamweaver CS5, this process looks very different from many other uh, copies of Dreamweaver. For the site name, choose my local PHP site or anything else you would like. And for the local site folder, you're going to have to choose a folder inside of your C inet pub directory. So we are going to go to computer C inet pub triple w root. Now in here we recommend for each project to have its own folder. So I'm going to call this folder first PHP site. Open and select. There we go. Now we're going to configure a number of other settings. First we're going to need a testing server. So we're going to go under servers and we're going to add a testing server. We'll call this testing. For the connection, since here you're using a local PHP installation, choose local or network. And for the folder, choose the same first PHP site folder inside of your inetpub triple w root. Now for the URL, and this, this piece of the puzzle is key, you're going to have to reference your folder. If you have the PHP installed locally and you're working with your local server, then the URL will be localhost forward slash and after the forward slash, you must use the folder name that you used, the subfolder in triple w root. So this is going to be first PHP site forward slash. There we go. Now go to the advanced settings and choose the FM Studio Pro server model. In this case, the FM Studio Pro API. And this is it. So let's just double check what we have. We have the testing model set to FM Studio Pro. This tells us that this site is an FM Studio Pro site. And under basic, we have the site, the testing server stored in the same location and the URL references your subfolder. This is extremely important. Now click save and click save again. And the site is now open on the side. We're now going to right click and create our index page. Right click, choose new file and name it index.php. Double click that. And as you can see in here on the side, it says it's a PHP for FM Studio Pro page. This means your site has probably been set up correctly. If you do not see this databases area, please find it under window. You would choose window databases. 
So some copies of Dreamweaver come like this. And you have to go here and choose databases. Right, now that you have the index page, let's make sure that PHP is running properly. To do this, we're going to use a PHP info page. Go to the commands menu and choose PHP info page. Click OK. And as you can see, a PHP info page was copied into your site. Now we're going to preview this page using a browser. Go in here and choose preview in Firefox or any other browser you might have. Right, as you can see in here, we're getting a little warning. It asks us that we don't have a testing server. So just double click testing here and click save. And there we go. As you can see, the PHP information page loaded correctly. This means your site is set up and ready for adding connections. Now, a couple of notes here. Since this is a local PHP installation, it is quite complicated to get PHP going on your own web server if you do not have PHP installed already. So on this step, you can have errors such as error 404, page not found. This typically means that the URL for the server was set up incorrectly or you misspelled your subfolder. However, if you're getting errors such as error 500, error 503, or any other 500 types error errors, then most likely your PHP installation is broken. And we would honestly suggest for you to use a hosting service instead of trying to install PHP on your own server. Unless you really need to do that, it is just much more sim simple and much more cost effective to use a hosting service. Right, now that um, you have your site set up and the PHP info page loads correctly, uh, we're going to double check one last thing, and that is that you have the curl module in PHP. So we're going to scroll down, scroll down until you start seeing these different sections. And they're alphabetic, and as you can see here, there's a section called curl. That means your site has been set up properly. Now you can watch the next video, which will talk about setting up a database connection.